Hello, Randall Lloyd here. Welcome to part two of my user guide for the DAS 3D Super Suit. In the first video, we took a look at how to find the suit in your library and get it loaded into your scene. So now we've got it, and I'm going to tell you a lot of things about the suit now. Uh, first, make sure that you're not on this Universal Manipulator tool or one of these other selection tools right here. And in, because that's going to click right through the suit and onto Genesis. That makes it easy to pose, which is good, but we want to manipulate the suit and interact with the suit. So the best tool for that is this surface selection tool right here. So go ahead and grab on that. And as I start to roll over Genesis, you can see how that kind of highlights each uh, material zone. And that's going to make it easy for us later. <clears throat> All right, so let's get right in. Uh, the focus of this video is going to be presets and more specifically, uh, the basic suit controls. Now this suit can be really complex and, and you can get right down into it and have minute control over the shapes in this suit. Um, but that, you know, that can be a little intimidating and maybe you don't want to start off with that. So Daz included a bunch of presets, both full suit presets and partial suit presets that allow you uh, to use building blocks to create what you want out of more general shapes. So let's see where those are, okay? I'm going to make sure the suit is selected here. And in the content library, we're going to go Daz Studio Formats, My Library, People, Genesis, um, Clothing, Super Suit, Super Suit Presets. Now we've been in this folder before, just remember where it is. And we're going to go to shape presets because we're, the first thing we're going to look at is the shaping of the suit, the morphing of the suit. And that kind of highlights, gives me an opportunity to tell you how this suit is different. In previous generations of bodysuit, um, you know, you're going to rely mostly on transparency and bump mapping to get the details on the suit. And this suit works in a completely different way. It actually morphs and you'll be changing the the actual geometry of the suit uh, to get into diff to different interesting shapes and um, if you're looking for this in the smart content you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do back and forth to the smart content and the content library all day because it'll make these videos twice as long but I'll just do a couple here in the beginning so uh, with the suit selected we're gonna go to presets morphs general and so you have the same thing. Now the reason why I'm going to focus mainly on the content library for these is because of these information icons over here and so I would recommend as a beginner that you at least visit these folders and take a look at those icons and see what they say uh, because it'll help you remember certain things. Once you become an old pro then uh, you won't need it anymore and the, and the smart content will be sufficient. But as it is, some of you might have gotten confused using only the smart content because you didn't have some of that information. All right, so let's take a look here. These are the overall general shaping presets here. And we're going to start by morphing the seams, these black parts here, and we're going to morph those out. Okay, so if I double click that, look at that, the seams all come out. And you got this interesting ribbed. Um, accordion style thing going on. You can also push the seams in and they'll push in so far that they actually dip below the surface of Genesis and gives you this nice little pillowed quilted look here. That's pretty that's pretty sweet. I like that a lot. That's a, an effect that would have been pretty difficult to get on on a previous uh, style of bodysuit. Now at this point I think I might want to change the colors. I'm just going to select the suit and go into the surfaces tab. Just select the whole super suit and I'm just going to pick a color. Uh, maybe this nice blue right here. What do you think about that? That's alright. That's going to help us see some of these shapes that we're going to play with. Okay, so selecting the suit again. Um, let's go back to our content library here. And you know I'm not going to show you all of these. I'll, let, I'll leave it to you to play with, play with some of them. I'm just going to highlight one more thing here and that is you can always reset and some of these effects are additive so if I use this one thick suit you see the suits gonna get a little thicker and I can go even thicker with it still and then if I go and select all seams out it's gonna add that on to the thickness 
um, and some of them just work that way. If I push in with the suit thick like that, you're going to see it's going to make kind of a, a pillowed look, kind of a quilted man look. And you also have seams only and seams off, everything off. Okay, so let's move on. Those were the general presets. Let's go into uh, the basic suit controls by region. Okay, and we have full body, head and face, lower body, and upper body. And all of these work uh, the same way, just on different parts of the body. And what you'll notice in this informational icon is it says push the region in before using these presets. And that you don't have to do that, but it will help you to get your super suit look like it does in the in the thumbnail. Okay, so if you're having trouble and it doesn't seem like it's doing anything, uh, go ahead and push in the region, and then when you select the thumbnail, like the strapless shirt here, you'll see it looks just like it. You can add gloves, make them longer, all kinds of neat things. Okay, and I'll let you explore those. If I if I went and did them all, we'd be here forever. So I'll just I'll just click in. There's one more I'd like to show you though, and that is <clears throat> here in lower body. Um, there were some crazy shapes created that are really interesting, like these jeans with a cuff, for example. And the ones that are pants have a little bit of a belt, and they've got uh, the cuff here, and makes it look like a pair of jeans. There's a couple of extra controls here, uh, like hiding the foot. So here you see we got a little little bit of the foot sticking out. So if we hide that, it goes away. And I'm just going to undo that to, to bring it back. And you can also restore the foot as well. There's an icon for that. Now if I go ahead and push the body in now, you'll notice there's a little bit of waistband left over. Well, I've got this icon right here that I can restore the waistband. So that, that all works. Let's go back to the default shape. And so there it is in a nutshell. You've got your uh, basic suit controls. You've got your general controls. You've got your full body, head and face lower body, upper body, and they all work the same. And what we're going to do in a later video is we're going to come back here and using these components we're going to build a custom character using just these. Alright, so I hope to see you for that video. If you like these videos, please like them and subscribe because uh, you know, you're only going to learn more about the super suit with each one of these. So uh, I'll catch you next time. See, see you soon.